Hello YouTube, today I'm going to teach you how to play the acoustic intro to Over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin, all the way up until the electric guitar part comes in. Also, during the video I'm going to put tabs right here of what I'm playing. If you can't read tabs, that's okay, I'm still going to explain what I'm doing. But if you can, this may help you out a lot. Alright, the first riff we're going to learn sounds like this. play it, it's on the G string, and you pick the G string open, hammer on, second fret, pull off, so one pick, just, and then right here on the um, D string, uh, pick on the fourth fret and pull off, and then open G. So, it goes like this. Open G, hammer on, pull off. So, the strumming pattern's like this. It's low. You can strum the E and the A string together, or just, just the E string. And then, strum down on the, the three high strings. And then, back up again and then back on the low strings. So it sounds like this. So together, it should sound like this. And that is the first um, lick. The second lick sounds like this. It, it sounds pretty much the same as the first, just a little bit of different notes. Um, it's again on the G string, like that, and then pick the D, but instead of pulling off, we, we play the uh, open E again, or open G, and then we play the fourth fret on the G string, and pull off to the second on the G string and then off again to the open and then play the D open. So it sounds like this. So now that we're on the D string, we're going to play the D chord and it's just like the, the way we did the uh, G chord on the other leg. It's open D. Instead of, we're, we're not using the first two E and A strings. We're going to use the D open. So, down on the highs, then up again, and then play D again. So it's. So then if you play those two together slowly, it should sound like this. So once you've done everything twice, you will uh, reach the next part, which is just a little added thing. It sounds like this. And uh, let's play that. It's all on the e, uh, A and D chords right here. It is open A, second fret, hammer on, then pick on D second. Back on E second, open D, hammer on D again, and then open in D. So it's and then you strum G just like we did. So it's And then we go back to playing the two licks together. And you just do that again two times for each lick, 
And then we reach another part, it sounds like this. It sounds complicated, but it's not. It's just a bunch of chords. So we're going to play the uh, lick again. And then we're going to go into a, a C add 9 chord instead of G. It's C. So to play this, it's instead of G, you move your two fingers that were on the E and the A, and you just move both of them down one it sounds like that if I pick it out so it's and then we change to this I just removed this finger and then move this up one this finger up my pointer finger up like that and then down here that is first on A, second, D, or three, third fret. Pinky on third fret, too, on the B string, so. And then we uh, slide all this up to I don't know, two frets, I guess, three, right here, <laughs> over top of these dots. And then we um, do the lick again and play the G chord. So it's just something like this. play this next part we're going to start on the C add 9 chord like this we're going to pick the low and strum the high again twice down up and then no pull off just pick the uh, second fret on the A string it's it's part of the so it's like it's the G chord again so it's it's hard to explain so we go C add nine see what I mean it's it's part of the G chord again like that and then we do this actually it's, it's um, on the second frets, A, pull off, or hammer on, pull off on the second, and then and the same on the D. And then we strum the D like this. And then back to the uh, E, or the G. And then the same. And then when that part finishes, instead of going, you know, back to the lick again, we go up to this this new part. So it's like and it slides all the way up until the what is this? A not this is like the ninth fret here. It's a D chord, just just a regular D chord, like that, and we can leave the, we can play an open uh, D right there, so it's like, and then it goes down to the seventh, and it slides back and forth between the seventh and the ninth, so it's like, And it does that four times until the uh, electric part comes in, so it sounds like this. And 
and that's the that's the electric part but um that's basically it if you have any questions you can ask in the comments i will try to uh answer them as best i can i think i could have i might have messed something up i don't know but we'll see should be good so thanks for watching